Hey guys, DKB here. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to modulate your vocals to give them a kind of Daft Punk synthy feel. Now I apologize in advance guys, as I'm feeling a bit under the weather and my voice is a bit raspy, but I'll be giving this tutorial anyway, because I wanted to get it out there. Um, Alright, so we're going to be using FL Studios for this one, and we're also beginning, going to be using Vocodex. So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is find a vocal to use. So let's pop down here. Let's go to vocals. Um, um, I was improvising. Uh, it's a smash hit. We need a beat. Oh no, we could it's we could use that. Hit. So typically, you don't want your vocals to be too long, since they're sounding synthy. It will start to sound a bit. Um, but kind of distorted. Unless, of course, you're using it for like a bass line or something, then, then it might be alright. But anyway, so first thing you're going to want to do is take your vocal and put it into your playlist. So once it's in the playlist, it's automatically going to make a channel on the sequencer. So give that a click and make sure that the FX channel the on the on the um, for the mixer is at one. So set that to one. Now that that's on the playlist, I'd name this uh, probably vocal. Hit that enter. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a second pattern and call that synth. Bad typing today. Uh, so, synth. Now, Obviously, you're going to put your synth in there. So, typically, I like to use either Nexus or um, or Citrus. Uh, I'm going to use Citrus just for this example, just to kind of show you. It, it's really, this is going to be a really basic one, and then I'll, I'll do a quick little thing of Nexus just to show you what it, what, what it can really do. Um, so... First thing you're gonna want to do is make a sine, uh, either like saw a sine wave. wave. Uh, so I'll I'll just do a saw wave. There we go, and it's gonna give like a sharp kind of kind of sound, really crisp, really sharp. So from there, now that we have that in our uh, in our sequencer, we're gonna want to put it on the piano roll. So we're going to put a piano roll. So as you can hear. Right? So now you're going to, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to try to make it the one note, or you could do multiple ones. I'll show you that after. Try to make it the same length as the vocal. So if we pop up back into the piano roll here, we'll probably, it looks like it's about a bar. So if we pop that out to about there, we open that up and we paste it. Oh no, okay, it's a bit longer. So we're just gonna extend that a bit. A bit too long. And just drop that back there. So as you can see there, it seems to be the same length as a vocal. And it yeah, yeah, okay, so that looks about right. So next thing you're gonna do, you're going to pop back to your channels and make sure that the the synth is over here is on the FX channel of two. So this is this is where it gets a bit uh, a bit complicated. So you're gonna head over to your mixer and you'll notice that you have your master insert. And because you already set the FX the FX channels to the mixer, they they will already they already be programmed to it. So what you're gonna want to do, you'll notice that the insert one is already linked to the master. All the tracks are always linked to the master. So you're gonna want to change that. So what we'll do, we'll rename these. So let's rename this as in order vocal, and then we'll name this synth. And then lastly, you're going to want to make a uh, one called vocoder. 
obviously they you don't have to name them I just do it to reduce kind of confusion when I'm making these so you now have your vocal linked to your vocal on the mixer and your synth linked to your synth now what you want to do you want to link both the vocal and the synth to the vocoder so you're gonna take the vocal you're gonna take the take it off of the mix master and put it onto the vocoder you're gonna do the same with the synth you're gonna take it off the master you're gonna put it onto the vocoder so now that you've done that open up the vocoder well hold up before I do that just here's what here's what the vocal sounds like uh, straight up it's a smash hit it's a smash hit so you'll notice that they're playing over top of each other instead of playing together now if I silence this it's a smash hit right and then if I silence this one now we're gonna have them play together but also modulate each other so we're gonna take our mixer again and we're gonna open up vocoder in the vocoder uh, mixer channel so we're gonna pop up vocoder here there we go now what you're going, gonna want to do you're going to set the modulator and the carrier to the channels that you want them to when I originally did this I actually thought it was the the synth was the modulator and the carrier was the vocal but I, I actually had that wrong it was the the vocal is the modulator and the carrier is the synth so luckily this is already synced so the synced so the modulator is at the carrier one but you uh, I mean uh, the modulator is at uh, the mixer channel one and the carrier hasn't been set yet, but you're going to want to set that to the mixer channel too. So from there, you now have it so it's linked to... I, I, I just turn those off. Really, I, I don't know what they do. I'm not that biggie. I don't really know that much about Vocodex. But I know roughly how it works. So then from there, you... This is this this is what it's going to sound like. This is kind of cool. If you hit that play button. It's a smash hit. It's a smash hit. It's a smash hit. Yeah, so that that's kind of cool. It gives you that kind of kind of synthy feel to it. It's a smash hit. It's a smash hit. Now, obviously, you can change the release, the attack. Uh, you can change the pitch, how male or how male masculine or female it sounds. Right. This is all Vocodex stuff, and uh, obviously, if you if you work with it a bit, it's totally up to you. You can play with it however you want. This will make it a bit uh, a bit more. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, kind of jumbled together. You won't be able really be able to make up the word, make out the words. It's it's really kind of kind of fuzzled. <laughs> That's a word. But if you move it all the way up to 100, the words are a lot more distinct, and you can really make them out. So, anyway, we'll put that around, uh, what, like 60? It's a smash hit. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then from here, this will make it um, it's a more, it's, it's kind of the same. It'll make it it's more, the words more recognizable. So, this is making hit. it really recognizable, and if you take it to one... You can't really hear the words as much, which would be good for like a bass line. But if you want to do a little vocal shout, you'd probably want it all the way full. Um. Anyway, so that is with that. And if you wanted to change, here's here's kind of the cool part. Obviously, if you wanted to change, you'll notice that that the original. Oh yeah, it's not playing. So if you wanted to see the original. All right, I have it. Well, anyway, if you want to change the pitch of the actual note, this is kind of cool. So you would simply go over to the piano roll, and then you would play whatever whatever note you want. So let's say it's a D five. It's a smash hit. It's a smash hit. It's a smash hit. It's a smash hit. So you can it's actually change, obviously you can change the pitch and the key of the the vocal that you're actually using. And you can all, you can do chords, that works too. Um, 
And let's say we'll do a major. A C major. E major. So that really, see how it's starting to sound a bit more, more Daft Punky. That's kind of, kind of really how you do it. Now you can also do it this other, this with other, um, other synths. So like I'll quickly replace this with a uh, Nexus. Uh, do I have it on here? Yep, there we go. So I'll quickly replace that with Nexus, and then say like we'll do probably voice, and then let's binary voice. Like let's give that a try. So they're kind of. So yeah, you're starting to see how it could it could be used in a whole bunch of purposes. Whether you want to use it a vocal shout as maybe a little baseline thing. It's entirely up to, to you, and at this point, I will leave you guys to it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.